Hi guys, welcome back to our channel The Base Leve. Hope you're all doing well. And today we are back with another interview experience segment for you with your beloved company DS Associates. And today's job role is Decision Analytics Associate. We already have a Business Technology Solutions Associate and a Business Operations Associate interview experience segment on our channel. So if you are interested in these roles, please feel free to go through those videos as well. and before proceeding to towards today's video uh, we have a google form attached in the description box below if you also want to get featured on our channel on this particular interview experience segment please feel free to fill up that google form and we'll reach back to you we also have our own telegram channel that you can join to stay updated with all the latest updates on our channel let's move on to the recruitment process बिफोर मूविंग ऑन विद इंटरव्यू सेगमेंट लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट रिलेबल अच्छी जॉब मिलना बहुत डिफिकल्ट गाइज एंड अगर आपके रिज्यूमे में देर इज अ गैप सो द रिक्रूटर माइट होल्ड योर रिज्यूमे और माइट ऑल्सो रिजेक्ट बट वॉट इफ आई टेल यू दैट विदाउट रिज्यूमे ऑल्सो यू कैन क्रैक गुड जॉब्स सो ये पॉसिबल है लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हर्षित अग्रवाल हु हैज़ कम्प्लीट इज कंप्यूटर साइंस ग्रेजुएशन एंड स्टार्टेड अ जॉब बट ड्यू टू कोविड पेंडेमिक ही हैज़ टू क्वेट इज जॉब फॉर सेल्फ केयर बट ही वॉन्टेड टू कम बैक फॉर इज जॉब so he gave a test on re level for back end development and uh, with the help of that he was able to crack blue stack with uh, a salary increment of 273% in the same way wh- whether it is a career start or career switch re level is the best option yes re level by an academy is now bringing up re level select a 5 day event where you can access companies like mo engage mingify times network hepto and many more just at by attempting a simple free test सो द बेस्ट पार्ट इज डेली टॉप स्कॉलर्स को मिलेंगे अमेजॉन वाउचर्स अप टू थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड जो टॉपर्स जो इवेंट टॉपर्स रहेंगे उन्हें मिलेंगे एप्पल गुडीज लाइक आई फोन मैकबुक और आई वॉच एडिशनली इवेंट के टॉप हंड्रेड स्कोरर्स को मिलेंगे गवर्नमेंट रिकोगनाइज सर्टिफिकेट्स फ्रॉम एन एस डी सी इवेंट्स थ्री कैटेगरी में है बट इसके अलावा री लेवल एज एटीन डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इन विच यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर अर जॉब्स लाइक सेल्स एच आर प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड लॉट मोर डोमेंस नाउ लाइक हर्षित हु हैज़ क्रैक द बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट टेस्ट and uh, uh, got into blue stack you can also try out this test the links are in the description box below you can go and check them out so the job profile offered by zs is uh, decision analytics associate the minimum eligibility criteria is you should be having 70% or above in your ssc hsc or diploma uh, b btech uh, engineering cgpa should be 6.5 and above students with active backlog can appear but need to clear it before joining and student must be an indian citizen by birth now coming to the ctc the ctc is as mentioned Now coming to phase one, the phase one consisted of aptitude test. There were forty-five questions in forty minutes, consisting of logical, guesstimate, quant, verbal, and data interpretation. Uh, the next round was PhDD round, where there were eight uh, case-based MCQ questions for thirty minutes. And uh, uh, the next round and the last round for phase one was recording uh, recorded video interview. There were two questions for three minutes each. coming to the phase 2 uh, the first phase was case study where the it was divided into two parts there was case study solving that it was for one hour and uh, next the case study interview uh, coming to the last round of phase 2 that is behavioral interview it was an interview round it was basically a ebi plus fit round where you will be asked about projects guesstimates puzzles and personality discussions for the final selection we will discuss this in very much detail with our guest today So hi everyone today we have with us Tushar Garg who has cracked the on campus recruitment process for ZS Associates for the job role of a decision analytics associate welcome to our channel Tushar Hello everyone uh, I am Tushar uh, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my experience with you So let's proceed with the interview segment then Okay so uh, let's uh, move phase by phase so we will first take up the first phase and then we will move to the next phase so you can start with the first phase so uh, the first phase was a written exam basically in which there are three rounds the first round consists of an aptitude round in which it is a uh, mcq based aptitude round in which there are 45 questions which we have to do in 40 minutes which includes some quants logical and reasoning as well as verbal uh, questions uh, the main criteria to uh, 
uh, solve that questions is speed because the time I think is little bit less to solve that questions. Uh, I think you, we have to maintain more speed uh, rather than the uh, accuracy in, in the first uh, round that is aptitude round. The second round is a PSDD round, which is a mini case based uh, round in which there are eight questions, which is MCQ based. And uh, uh, they consist of some quantitative as well as qual qualitative uh, questions. Uh, the main uh, issue in second round is that we have um, many much time that is 30 minutes. 30 minutes is more than enough for second round. But main problem is that there is nothing, no correct answer in the in in that types of question. You have to just go with the uh, with your internal uh, right. thing that which, which question is uh, fine or not. Uh, like there is no correct answer in that types of uh, second round. The third round is video round in which we have to give the uh, pro, uh, video interview to the uh, on two questions, uh, which we got 10 seconds to think about the question and have to speak at least about for two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one question is a behavioral question and second question is a guesstimate or database question. Uh, uh, the most difficult round is the video round in the first phase uh, test because it is an AI proctored round and the students do not think that we have to speak uh, much uh, more in that round. They only speak about 15 to 30 seconds. And uh, as the whole, the third, three rounds are simultaneously. So students also get fatigue uh, by giving three rounds simultaneously as uh, mostly the test is at evening. Uh, you can say that the test window is around 8 p.m. to the morning 8 a.m. So it becomes uh, fatigue and it becomes tiring to the students to give video rounds. So they just speak fastly uh, about 10 to 15 se seconds in the video round. So I think the uh, key to crack the video round is to speak at least for two to three minutes uh, on the topic that is given in the question. And this is the phase one. So uh, I have a few questions regarding the first round that you mentioned. So if I'm correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so there are, uh, I guess, one or two guesstimates as well involved in the first phase, right? Yes, yes. Uh, first uh, aptitude uh, uh, test. So I would like to ask from where did you prepare for the test, for the aptitude test? Uh, so there is a book name as R.S. Agarwal uh, from which I studied for the uh, aptitude and as well as there is a website name as Prep Insta there, uh, where we got the material for that is preparation even for other companies and MNCs also there are huge material uh, there are free resources as well as paid resources. So basically what they do are uh, like they give the topics in the aptitude like work and time probability permutation and combination. So you can go for the topic like in which you have having problems and which uh, you uh, you can uh, have questions for that. So uh, I do uh, the aptitude preparation from that, uh, that two uh, web, uh, things. One is RS Agarwal and second is a prep insta. Got it. So these sites uh, do uh, like give aptitude, you know, question, uh, prepare material for uh, that's related to aptitude. Uh, the topics yes. that you mentioned, but specifically yes. for guesstimates, uh, there are only a couple of sites that do that. You know, provide that. They, and they are, hmm. There is a full course for that is in Pep Insta. So there is a basically company. They are giving basically a company based uh, material. Like uh, if you click on that hmm. is, then they will give all the case studies as well as guesstimate puzzles and aptitude PSDD round. So they give a whole package uh, on the company preparation. So it is free also, but in free, there is a limited resource. But if you uh, purchase the paid subscription, then you can have more, much material for preparation in that website. Got it. And how helpful was that uh, for you? It was very helpful because they also give the timer to solve the question. So uh, if I click on that question, the timer starts on the question above. So uh, it also gives me the time, uh, help advantage of time accuracy. Like I can measure my time, like how much time I am uh, consuming in solving that question. So yes, it helped me a lot. Uh, and RS Agarwal also helped me a lot in preparation for the aptitude. So, 
so i guess we can move to the second round then hmm. so round 2 was a, a case study of the round phase 2 was consisting of two rounds in which first round was a case study uh, round in which uh, we have given a case study uh, which consists of 7 to 8 pages uh, which has uh, basically three three questions uh, including quant- quantitative as well as qualitative questions and we have to solve it in one hour uh, in telview platform uh so the case study uh, is like uh, uh, like a like a case of a company uh, like you have to solve their problems and calculate their revenue and uh, uh, by using mathematical approaches and uh, also the logical approaches uh, after that uh, case round you have to give a case debrief interview uh, to the zs uh, like you have to upload the case study in a pdf on that telview platform and then a interviewer will come and you have to debrief him in the uh, debrief the case like how you solve how you come to that approach and he will cross question you about the case and he will also ask some guesstimates and puzzles from you and some uh, behavioral questions also if the time is left in the for the interview so the case debrief interviews last for about 45 to 1 hour and it is on the same day of the case round uh, and for the second round there is a evi or you can say fit round in which a manager of uh, zs came and uh, asked uh, questions from the resume and and some guesstimates and puzzles so basically the round uh, two of the phase two uh, Uh, phase two is uh, basically on your resume and on your uh, thing like what are you doing like uh, uh, like whatever you written in your resume you have to prove that like if you have written like I am good in aptitude I am good in uh, uh, problem solving so he will ask the question from that even if you are written re- uh, writing some technical knowledge he can also ask uh, a question from that so this is a uh, round two interview. Oh. so here i have a question so you might have discussed with your friends uh, boa friends that how were the second round taken or what was the case study so how is it different from da uh, how da and boa case studies are different da case studies are basically more uh, more towards the mathematical side you can say statistics they are using a very much statistics uh, and uh, like uh, i have given also the zs campus beats uh, uh, contest in which they have uh, uh, all the three types of questions like for btsa for boa and for da uh, like in boa they are are um, more they are are also mathematical part but the more focus is on uh, qual- uh, qualitative part uh, whereas in da the more focus is on mathematical part like solving statistics pie charts graphs etc so there is this is a difference in uh, da case study and boa case study so are there any tips for our juniors before applying in da or any other profile site cs so uh, i want to give a tip like be confident on your whatever you are uh, giving in the uh, interview and what are you giving in the uh, written test also and uh, if you will prepare for the zs then you will definitely crack it uh, the uh, cracking the zs is not difficult and uh, not easy as well uh, but if you prepare well then you can definitely crack for the zs uh, and uh, be confident and uh, do whatever uh, you are uh, in your interview and don't be uh, don't show your fake side in the interview be uh, just uh, that you are uh, in the interviews because the managers and the interviewer will catch it if you anything you will uh, say lie to them so the uh, key is that be confident and uh, be whatever you are in the interviews okay so guys with that i guess it's a wrap thank you so much tushar for coming in and sharing your experience with us and guys if you also want to get featured on our channel like uh, our guest today please do feel free to to fill up the google form attached in the description box below and we'll definitely re- reach out to you and uh, with that we'll take a leave we'll be back next week on with another interview experience segment for you on fridays as usual till then take care and prepare well thank you